Jelly. <laughs> she would look at you like, leave me alone. Yeah, what? I'm gonna get the squeaker. So super big missed opportunity there. So the foster child, um, pretty much still tied. I got one click out of each strap. The stepchild was basically not strapped down. <laughs> What's up, Light Bright Nation? What's going on, Light Bright Nation? <laughs> so the whole gang is officially back together. We've got child support, the foster child, and of course the beautiful stepchild. And we are about to start our next leg of the journey. However, first things first, we gotta tie it all back down. Okay, now so many of you guys were giving us so much crap about our Harbor Freight straps that with hooks. And honestly, I bought Harbor Freight out. I bought everything they had. And that's only why we had, what do we have? Three? We were missing I think two. we had three on each one. We had three on each rig. Yeah. yeah, not we didn't have four. Anyway, it was super terrible. They're already, the abrasions already started. They're already starting to break, like break down. And this is an open hook. The whole reason we did that is because we had these speed strap deals on order. So this is the same kit that we have on our razor that we've been using on the Aluma trailer, except this is the bigger version, the one we have on the for the razor is a lot smaller. So, <laughs> for the big boys. Yeah, so this is a two inch tie down kit and you can see right here in the picture and I'll lay it out for you, but you can see everything that it comes with. So these are 10,000 pound maximum rating. So we'll have four of those, 40,000 pounds. I don't think I we're going to have it. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this one's already empty, but these bags are actually super, super well made. There's a actual lot, like metal lining inside here. Um, to keep it shaped. Yeah, to keep it shaped. This one's empty because I've already tied down the driver's side of everything. <laughs> Ta -da! So yeah, it has the, the metal that's sewn into here. So that way it folds up and folds out completely. Anyway. You now it's pretty cool. Hold on, I got to show it. Because these kits don't just come with tie down straps. They also come with a super strap, which we've shown you guys these awesome speed straps before. We have a big version that we keep with the stepchild recovery kit that we've used in certain recoveries before. Yeah, so this speed strap, so here's the other one. So here it's, it's, it's in both kits and we can go right through. What are we already open? Oh yeah, we were going through trying to see what was all in here. So everything comes nicely packaged. It's all together, it's all bundled. So now I wanna show you why exactly we went with these and why we love them so much. So instead of being open, like with what we've been using, there's actually a retaining hook. So it clips on nice and that's secure. You don't have to worry about if it loosens up, it coming this, fully coming, unhooked. this coming fully unhooked. So it has that. That's not the only reason. Honestly, this right here, these mechanisms work so smoothly and so clean. These are already like once Pain they're side the loaded. Yeah, once they're side loaded, they start to gum up and everything. The ones on our razor have been on there for months and every time you go to use it it works like butter they've like, been on there and unused for months <laughs> yeah and then the best thing best best thing is you can use it two different ways you can actually use it to come around an axle to go around a wheel or you can take this completely off and use it as a straight a strap. full straight strap right you can go as a full straight strap straight to the ratcheting end so that makes it super neat so what i'm going to do now is I'm gonna actually be able to come through the wheel here and it has a protective sheathing here. You can see, but, so I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually got a sheath right there that's actually a little softer. Well, you can see it right here. Oh, there you so go, yeah. A, so if you have something that's gonna be abrasive, you wanna make sure that this is uh, over that area. But, but on top of that, in the kit, look at that. It actually comes with fleece liners. Yeah. So if you've got something a little more special than a rugged off-roading vehicle, it's gonna get beat up anyways. If you've got nice wheels, basically like my Jetta has, my show car. All right, you wanna do this fleece lining. So once once you get everything set up, you can literally lay the fleece liner in here and then strap it across. I don't know if we'll be using those. Should we use those for these guys? We don't need to, they're just gonna get, look at this already. Yeah, they're gonna English, be fine. Babe, babe, was that English? <laughs> <laughs> I'll so. tell you this. I don't think the stepchild needs the fleece liner. No, I didn't use it on the phone, the stepchild fleece liner. I mean, I guess the so, foster child wheels are nice right now, but yeah. if you guys are concerned about straps rubbing against the actual wheel, <laughs> I don't know if you're understanding the purpose of what we're building. <laughs> Anyways, we got to get on the road, so let's go ahead and strap it down and get going. Now, I prefer to strap down vehicles on the unsprung weight portion of it 
meaning to your axle or to your wheels directly. Because what that means is that you're not fighting the suspension. If you tie down to the frame or you tie down to anything above the springs, as the vehicle's moving, you're constantly bouncing and- Basically and the straps. suspension is fighting. Right. So if you go to a wheel or you go to uh, the axle directly, then you don't have that. You're literally just static. So you're letting the suspension move freely. So as you go down the road, it's kind of cool. You can watch your- See, so that's nice. So if it comes undone, you're not gonna lose your hook if for whatever reason something happens. See what, and then what will happen is, watch, as I tie this down, it's gonna start cinching through here and this buckle keeps everything locked, but you'll see it actually pull through. Here, switch my sides, Britt. So now I'm also doing it this way because it puts the clip on this side, it puts the lock directly in line with the wheel. So it's not side loading or pulling to the side. It's pulling directly here and then it's just kind of coming through the wheel. Now, there's a million freaking ways I'm sure you can tie things down. You can go to the axle, you can go to the wheel. I'm sure everybody has their own way of doing it. This is how we're doing it for right now. And if we need to change it up later, we will. If you guys, if anyone, well, I'm sure there's a lot of professionals. It is the internet. But there's any <laughs> professional tie downers and you guys think you got a better way, you can let us know in the comments. Now, I can't go around the wheel in the back because the ring is too close. And look, I won't be able to get in there and ratchet anything down. So we do have to go around the axle, but that's where this cool loop comes into play. Literally just flop it down on a flat spot, hook it to itself. That's it. Hold on, there's more. Ta-da! <laughs> so this is, ah, look at Jelly. <gasps> jelly! Be nice to the kitty cat. She is nice, the kitty cat's actually, get it! Get the Don't kitty. tell her to get the kitty, oh, oh goodness. <laughs> get the kitty! You mean your best friend? Get the kitty! Okay, well you gotta tone it down. You gotta tone <laughs> it down. The cat doesn't like the energy, <laughs> Jelly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's too much for the cat. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good, good girl. girl. Come here. What are you doing? You being good. You being nice. You making friends. You get too much energy. Too much excitement. You're freaking the cat out. Okay. Anyways. That's us. <laughs> all right. So, so they provide these little cool Velcro strips so you can make your stuff look all pretty. And while I'm doing this, maybe Brittany can just walk to the other side and just show you the other side that's already done. <laughs> so what's super cool is with these bed boys you don't have to worry about any type of fancy ties or wrapping it down or it coming unraveled and flailing all over the place which we've had happen before and it's a really big pain in the rear end so it's kind of nice that the whole kit comes with this as well get the kitty <gasps> jelly no, we don't bark at the kitty kitties don't like that You'll be nice. Oh my God, that's not nice. Don't chase the kitty. Jelly, leave the cat alone. Okay, so on the stepchild, the holes in the wheel are too small to get any of these buckles through. So I have to actually disassemble it all, put the rope through, put, reassemble it, go back through it. It's kind of a pain in the butt. It's not like the foster child where it just goes right through the wheel. So Brittany had an idea to come through the knuckle housing. And if we set it up a certain way, it actually works. It actually attaches just fine. So I do have the driver's side over there going through the wheel, but I think I like this more. It's actually directly straight in line. It's not pulling sideways. Yeah, I remember too, we've got a Dynatrack 60, so that knuckle is beefy AF. But I don't know, we'll see which method we like more and go from there. You gotta remember, we're not professionals. We're not professionals, we're just showing you what we're doing. That way, if you professionals on the internet, Interwebs, think we're you know? really big dum dums. Yeah. You'll tell us how to do it, and then we don't go. <laughs> and even the professors, even the people who aren't professionals, will tell us how to do it. There you go. <laughs> Now, before we get on the road, I want to show you something really cool that showed up in the mail. 
It's my best friend growing up, Jared Gutierrez. He found this at a uh, at one of those little swap meet deal doohickey things. It's like, what in the world is this little canister? Look at this. It says Schrader on it. So we looked at it, and it's actually super clean. So balloon tire gauge manufactured by A. Schrader's Sun Inc., Brooklyn, New York, patented July 16th, 1909, uh, March 28th, 1916, February 14th, 1922, April 10th, 1923. This is like your original. That's 100 years old. Yeah, and on the bottom it tells you it goes from 10 to 50 PSI. So I am curious if I'm about to break it. No, I do. I want to know if it works. Kevin. Because I also want to see the numbers on it and I can't pull it out. I tried lightly prying on it with my yeah. knife and I couldn't. So. Oh God, don't break it. Oh, it works. Kind of. Kind of, sort of. Look. Oh, there it is. Ah. Let's pull on it. Oh, that's cool. So look. So you go 33, 34, 35, oh. 36. So it, it just goes. It rotates. It rotates around. That's super dope. It's 10, 11, 12. So you just literally rotate it till it touches. So yeah. that would be 40 PSI. So it works. That's cool. Anyway. I just thought that thought was, that, we thought those were showing. That was super, super cool. So thanks, Jared. <laughs> That's freaking awesome, dude. Thanks for looking out. They gonna fit? They fit. Cool. All right, one last thing. Coming over here, though, because there's people over there. And I guess I'm not embarrassed, but... Oh, look, I did use a fleece here. So, here, get the sun on me. Go over here, Brittany. Oh, my God. Go what am here. I doing? All right. Guys, Hawaii. I wasn't going to go on a diet in Hawaii. And I was food was too good. Then I see myself on camera, and I'm kind of ashamed, and I needed to work out anyway. So, I bought a mobile gym that's in Salt Lake City right now waiting for me. So, today is the day that I'm gonna start eating better and I'm gonna start working out. And I'm gonna go through, it's a 12 week workout, but I'm gonna keep going from there. But we need to document it. I need you guys to hold me accountable. So if you see me, make sure that I did my workout that day. And we kind of mean this part, Kevin is not insanely self-motivated. Uh, okay, I'll give him this. It's very difficult to diet around me because I don't eat well. I know I look, like I eat well. Um, those are just genetics that you see. Uh, my mom blessed me with amazing genetics along with my father. Uh, so it's hard to diet around me. So that's partially my fault. I'm going to try to eat better with him. Not diet, just eat healthier. And Kevin's going to go so, on a diet. Close your eyes. No, don't close your eyes. <laughs> so I want this tattoo to look bad. I want to start working out. So here's a, hold on. Let me just do a little... <laughs> so all right this is me day one today is february 16th 12 week program but we're gonna do this we're gonna do this every what i don't know days? just every so maybe once a week right like every every six to nine days yeah and we're gonna see how this work work workout workout how this workout works out for me <laughs> yeah that's it but we need y'all's help yeah, so if you see me, to make keep sure, him accountable. Or just be like Kevin, drop and give me 20 or something. Because he gets mad at me when I try to keep him accountable. I've had threats before. That was after three days of that no eating. That was only one time I threatened to punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> it was three days of no eating. I was trying to make a, <laughs> a three day fast. Anyway, we are tied down, guys. We got four straps per vehicle, eight straps total. Gooseneck. I checked all the tire pressures on the trailer and the truck. We are good to go. And all you internet people, that know better than I do. Tell me how else. Help us out. Help, help, help <laughs> us out. So. All right, let's go. Jelly. <laughs> Dude, look at you like, leave me alone. Yeah, what? I want to get the squeaker. So super big missed opportunity there. So the foster child, um, pretty much still tied. I got one click out of each strap. The stepchild, was basically not strapped down <laughs> like 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 nothing was tight like i got i got like four straps out of like yeah so this is why we check after about 30 minutes of driving yeah it was bad like the step foster child I was like oh oh like, okay one click and i had to like really click on the front really click on the back I'm like that's fine <laughs> get over to the step child i should have grabbed the dang phone 
and I grabbed the strap and it was just like <laughs> anyway <laughs> That's why we check. Um, they're new they're, straps. They're brand new straps. They're brand new straps, so they're going to have a little bit of stretch to them at first. Well, and, the, and the step shop's hooked up differently no. than the foster. The foster trial's going through all the wheels, and it's, and remember how it comes back on itself? Wrapped around and, itself, and it tights, yeah. Where this one's just kind of loose. and yeah. yeah. So anyway. Check your straps. <laughs> check your straps. Please don't destroy the chicken in the Jeep <laughs> or in the truck. Oh, do we tell them what we're even doing right now? No. We tell no, so, we're not going to tell them right now. Yeah, we're they got to wait. We're headed, but we're headed to phase 2.5 of the foster child build. Like that's why we're loaded up and where we're going. So is that going to be the next video? I don't know. Or is that going to be a for of this video? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Alright you guys, welcome officially to phase 2.5 <laughs> of the foster child aka the gladiator giveaway build. We are in Salt Lake City as Kevin said and we are, wait, that can, way, can you, can you Northridge 4x4 <laughs> in Salt Lake City and we have a lot to do in we're, the next three days. Yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff that we're going to do to it. And I was actually just looking at the door. It says Premier, Rally Sport Direct, and Northridge 4x4. So I'm kind of, that Rally Sport Direct caught my eye. I'm kind of, uh... We don't, we don't, we don't rally. One thing at a time. Guys, <laughs> you'll have to wait till next time, though. We love you so much. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you can find all your Life Right Nation merch at LifeRightStudios.com. All your Life Bright Nation decals at pixeldecals.com. I know this wasn't a really long or super exciting video. It wasn't. It was just us getting here. But <laughs> we had to get here. And there's a couple things we wanted to show you along the way. And a couple of things that Kevin wanted to... Get off my chest. Get off my stomach. Get off my... <laughs> whatever. Keep me accountable. I'm going to keep saying that. And if you don't, well, who on you? Guys, we love you so much. And we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. But before we continue on our journey in the Gladiator build here, we had one really special stop we had to make. So this is, what's your name? Misa. Misa. And she drove kind of a long way just to come here so that we could sign these for her. You, so, got, you got two of them, right? We got two of them. So there's this one. Here, let me pull one. And then we got this one. Those are almost as big as you. They're almost as big as she is. So she wanted to drive up so we could sign them for her in person. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now, all right? <laughs> it's such a pretty name, Misa. It's M-I-S-A, right? Yeah. Yeah, say hi, YouTube. <laughs> say hi, hi YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, should I sign the new, should I sign that one too? I can't sign that one because that one's Britney. <laughs> that one's Britney on it. Should I sign this one or you just want Britney to sign it? You can sign it. I can sign it too? Okay. Yeah. Where, are you going to hang those up in your room? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Is that where they go? Yeah, you sign my dashboard team. The Jeep? Yeah. Oh, that'd be so <laughs> Oh, there you go. Sign two busters and a Jeep. For you, so you can get into and out of the Jeep. You can boost your seat too. Kevin needs one of these. Oh. oh. <laughs> 